So hello everyone, your friend Best Pro is here once again with my new video. So you all know that it's all about motorbike, and we always prefer a good motorbike. So this is because we have a strong relationship with our motorbike. So we know the actual feeling about how a motorbike should be. So all this differ from the person to person, and the purpose of using. Today I will be discussing which bike to buy. A major question asked by our youngsters. So let me make you clear guys, first only, I do not work for any organization so my decisions are not made by anyone. It's all about my experience guys and my knowledge so hope you will like it. So I have uh, done like uh, 3 bike categories like KDM 200 RC. KTM RC200 and the second one is the Bajaj Pulsar RS200 and the third bike is Suzuki Zixer SF. So let me start with the RC200. Why to buy and why not to buy? This two have I have partition like this. Why to buy and why not to buy? So why to buy RC200? So yes, it's, uh, it's a great machine. It's like a deserving quality with the top class. Uh, Equipment used inside the bike, it's a lightweight body, help for the strong cornering, and it's like a track focused bike, a totally a powerful machine with the great acceleration. So, why not to buy RC200? So, it's a good machine, but uh, due to its low mileage, not good for the daily ride. Uh, it's like it's too expensive, also for like 200cc motorbike uh, category it's like expensive plus uh, it's very bad it's not comfortable for the long ride and it's very much uncomfortable for the pillion riders also so hitting problems uh, are the best friend for the KDM machine always in our uh, traffic jams and RC 200 is lacking with the ABS braking, so bad news for the KTM lovers. Why to buy RS200? So now this time, Bazaars have done an excellent job, guys, uh, with the fuel injection, and the machine seems to be very comfortable and refined. Plus, it's capable for both the race track and the daily computing. It's, it's like uh, I think it's like good in a machine so by observing the scenario of the total competition the market and uh, the RS200 have done a great job with their mileage and the providing the ABS technology it, it was way more good so why not to buy RS200 so talking about the total bike it seems to be very heavy compared to RC200 design seems to be overdone it's like a bit overdone and limited variance might disappoint the riders why to buy suzuki zixer sf yes although it's uh, not as powerful as the rc200 and rs200 but uh, it's a very refined and comfortable with affordable price uh, i think uh, with the full aerodynamics body tested in the wind tunnel and also track focus with the desired kind of a, you can get a mileage also good mileage so plus the handlebars are comfortable so why not to buy Dixer SF it's fearing might disappoint you I mean to say the ground clearance during the bumpy roads uh, it's like it's not good for the bumpy roads so Dixer SF seems open it, it looks a bit open open type kind of affair not as packed as the RC200 so rider may be disappointed by the rear drum brake so with the MRF tire it's good not force you all guys so it's your decision uh, be calm and sit back and relax guys and think twice know your purpose of riding and choose the best for you that's all my friend today ride safe follow rules